We have new information tonight in what police call a violent act of domestic violence. Plymouth police say the suspect killed a woman and then exchanged gunfire with police. We now know that woman was a suspect's fiance. Care 11's Brian Pyatt joins us live from the newsroom with the latest details. Hi, Brian. Yeah, hi, Camille. The uh, gunman's attorney spoke with me tonight. He tells me that his client, Corey Perry, was the one involved in the incidents on Friday night. He talked to me because the Perry family asked him to speak to the media on their behalf completely shocked. Attorney Michael Padden says his client, 28 year old Corey Perry, is the man police say shot and killed a woman at a Plymouth intersection and then exchanged gunfire with police in his apartment building. Padden says the woman he killed was his fiance. Behavior, he says, is not in line with the man Padden knew. The young man was an exemplary client. He was a nice young man, a very intelligent young man. I really, on a personal level, I really liked him. Padden spoke with the Perry family who told him on Friday night, Perry was leaving an uptown bar with his dad and brother when they got into an argument over a parking spot with a valet attendant. His father had told someone who pulled in, take my spot, and as I understand it, from speaking with his father and his brother, the valet got really upset and uh, a fracas evolved. Patton says Perry left the scene, was picked up by his brother and then his fiance. What happened in the car and what happened from that point forward, I don't, don't think anyone will ever know. Patton says he's unaware of any history of abuse between Perry and his fiance, calling their relationship solid. She was a very nice person. Um, Corey loved her, she, she loved him. Um, the family is particularly really not only about the fact that they lost a son, they lost a brother, but uh, she was like a family member. His mother told me that she was like a daughter to her. His sister told me that she was like a sister to her. Padden says Perry had been diagnosed with bipolar disorder, but those who knew him completely caught off guard by what happened. The kid just lost it. I, I don't know why, and I don't think anybody will ever know why. Now, Padden says he was representing Perry on an appeal in a case involving an altercation at a local pizza shop. He says Perry was found guilty of being under the influence while uh, under, under the influence of alcohol while carrying a firearm and also making terroristic threats. Padden told me that, to his knowledge, that is the extent of his criminal record. Camille, all right, Brian, just devastating for yeah. both everyone involved. Really, thank really you. Is, yeah.